hey guys welcome back to my channel so i have been qu quite mia for a while but i'm back and um, i'm really excited to put out some new content and film some fun videos and get back out there and start watching youtube again and start being passionate about youtube again so um i wanted to kick off my first video with um it being something i'm really really excited for um and that is a first impressions of the new brand to sephora um called fenty beauty so i'm sure that you probably heard of fenty beauty by now already um everyone in the beauty world is raving about it right now it's a new brand exclusive to sephora and it is made by rihanna um i wouldn't say music wise that i'm a huge fan of rihanna i don't dislike rihanna i just not a huge fan um but i was really 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 excited when i found out that she was coming out with a makeup line um so i bought some of the products and i'm going to this is going to be my first impressions um i had them color swatch me for foundation at my local sephora but this is the first time that i've tried it all by myself and um you know played around with it so let's get started so I didn't purchase everything from the brand but I purchased the pieces that were going to be the most important to me in a beauty line um, and the ones that I was most excited for so um, ah, the first two being the pro filter what's it called the pro filter soft matte um, primer and the pro filter soft matte long wear foundation as well so I'm super jazzed about these um, just gonna throw it on the floor um, First and foremost, the packaging is stunning. Um, they are a frosted glass, matte glass uh, bottles. Um, the foundation has a white cap and the primer has a nudie pink cap. Um, and they both have pumps, which is super, super um, convenient if you know how much it stinks to not have a pump on your foundation. Um, and then the other products that I purchased, I purchased this trio, which is called the Matchsticks Trio. Um, and they came out with a whole bunch of matchsticks, but you could also buy them in um, trios where it came, comes with a... Um, um, a basically like a uh, concealer um, or highlight but it's a matte highlight so basically it's kind of like a concealer a um, um, contour and then a highlight and I got mine I got mine in the light 100 I know that a lot of people have been getting theirs in the other um, sh other trio with the um, contour shade called Mocha, um, but I got mine in Light 100, which comes with um, the uh, the concealer um, color is called Linen. The contour shade is called Amber, and then the highlight shade is called Starstruck. So um, what's really cool about these is that they're magnetic. Um, so you can basically like if you collect them or purchase more you can build them up and they make this like really cute little, little honeycomb shape um, but super super easy for you know uh, traveling or anything like that um, but yeah basically they're little matchsticks and then they're all cream products this is the contour shade it's called amber it's more on the I would say cool toned um, I just felt like mocha was a little bit too dark for me. And then this is linen, which is the concealer highlight, matte highlight shade. Um, 
and then this is the highlight which is called starstruck which i'm super super excited about this um yeah so we'll give those a go and then the last item i purchased which i'm super excited about is one of the kilowatt freestyle highlighter duos and i got mine in the two shades called lightning dust and fire crystal i know everyone's going crazy for that like yellow gold highlighter but that will not look good on me <laughs> that will not look good on me um the packaging is absolutely beautiful um it's this like holographic white um packaging and it just says Fenty Beauty on the front um, and it's in this stop sign octagon shade um, or shape and then you open it up and it says Fenty Beauty on the little mirror and then these are the two highlights um, this one is called lightning dust and then this one is called fire crystal um, I'm so excited to play around with these. The I think that the way that they're supposed to work is that the duos have one of the highlighters is more like of a natural soft highlight and then the other one is more of a bam in your face highlight. So really, really excited to play around with this. And I like how it comes with two and one. So basically I'm gonna do a first impressions for you, put this stuff on my face, see how I like it, see how it feels, um, and give you guys the scoop. Um, what am I going to put my hair up with? Okay, I'm just gonna put my hair back so that it's out of my face. And we're going to start with the blah, blah, blah. we're gonna start with the primer. Um, so I've already done my brows and my eye makeup, um, but I have not done my face yet. So we're gonna start with the primer, and I'm just going to do. two pumps oh I was ex I don't know why I was expecting it to be white but it's like a pinky nudie color mm. it doesn't really have a scent I like the way that it feels it feels very moisturizing um doesn't feel tacky or or anything like that doesn't really have like an aggressive smell or anything like that to it which is nice oh it filled in my pores really nicely Yeah, I really like that. It makes my face look matte, but not flat. Like not, it's a little mattifying, but not flat or anything like that, which I really like. So yeah, I really like that. Um, I just wanna, this is Instant Retouch Primer. I just wanna see what it says it's supposed to do. Smooth pore diffusing finish, extended makeup wear. So it is supposed to be pore minimizing or fill in your pores at least. So yeah, I really like that. All right, and now for probably the thing that's going to be the most judged. And what I really liked is that she came out with like 40 different colors. So really anybody could find a shade. Um, I got mine in the shade 190, which is more on the neutral side of colors. Alright, I'm going to do like two and a half pumps on the back of my hand here. And I'm going to use a wet sponge. 
And I've actually really been loving this uh, Physician's Formula sponge. I think this is Physician's Formula or Eco Tools. Oh, I can't remember. I will leave it in the description box below for you. So just going to put that on there and start. Well, it doesn't really have a smell either. Well, you can tell it kind of oxidizes on your face pretty quickly, um, but not in a bad way. Um, so when I went to Sephora and got color matched, I was actually supposed to be... Um, I can't remember what color she tried on me first, but I actually went down a shade um, in that same neutral range so that um, if it did oxidize, it wouldn't be too orange or yellow or anything like that. So far, so good. It's not oxidizing like a weird yellow or orange color gotten a little bit warmer but not too much and this is a um, buildable foundation so you know if you want it to be really light coverage you can just do like one pump with a damp with a damp sponge and um, you know that'll be light coverage or you know two to three pumps um, and that'll be more medium to full coverage yeah I'm really liking this so far it's not settling into any fine lines or although I don't really have many fine lines um, <laughs> Um, but I really like the way that it looks on my skin so far. Oh yeah, it definitely oxidizes as time goes by, um, gets a hair darker, so, you know, if you are concerned about that, um, I would definitely recommend, you know, making sure you bring some down on your neck a little, uh, <laughs> um, and making sure that, you know, you have them color match you correctly or you go down a shade. Patting that in. But overall, I mean, I really like that. I think that it looks really nice on the skin. So, only time will tell. But yeah, I mean, the only thing I will say is that it definitely does oxidize. So, you just want to be careful of that. But it blended out really, really nicely. Um, it doesn't feel like, you know, makeup sitting on top of my skin. It's not tacky or anything like that. So, yeah, I definitely like that. Um, next, I'm going to go in with one of the match sticks. Um, going to go in with the highlight slash concealer in the shade Linen. I don't know why I make these faces. It feels it doesn't uh, it doesn't feel drying like some cream products can. Um
it definitely feels, you know, more on the moisturizing end. Oh, that's nice. That really like highlights those specific areas. Not in a, um, you know, highlight sparkly sense, but like a mattifying way. See how it looks underneath the eyes. Oh yeah, that really brightens up the under eye. I don't know if you can tell or not, but that really brightened everything up. I really like that. That brightened everything right up. And it doesn't look like it's creasing or anything like that. She did come out with like a um, powder, but I actually did not purchase the powder. Hmm. I quite like that. And then next I'm going to contour or attempt to contour because I am like the world's worst contour -er, if that's a word contour -er, con I'm the world's worst contour -er. oh god um so I got mine in the shade amber which is a little bit more on the cool tone side Don't I look great? <laughs> and I'm going to use my e.l.f. contouring brush, which I love. Blend this right out. Oh yeah, I'm almost like instantly happy that I went with the lighter or cooler shade than I did going with mocha, which is the one that they suggested. Yeah, I really like that. It did a very nice job. It blended really nicely. It's not tacky at all. That's really nice. blending really really nicely I will say that I was a little bit bummed that there were no like eye products um you know it'd be really cool if you know she had brought out some like even like quads or something like that um but for now it was just the face product I'm sure that in okay guys so my camera decided to cut out right before I put on the highlighter and I didn't know so I already put on the highlighter So what I did, what I did was, just because you can never have too much highlight, that's a lie, yes you can, 
Um, I put on Starstruck, which was the cream one. And then I went in with the powdered one um, in Lightning Dust, which is the lightest of the duo, and put that one right on top. Um, and as you can see, it's just super, super, super highlighted goddess. It looks like the moonlight is on my cheeks. It is absolutely stunning. I really, really was surprised by this cream one, um, the Starstruck. Um, it's absolutely intense and beautiful, but not intense in like a glittery bleh kind of way, like intense, like it's, it's just stunning. So I don't know if my camera is doing it justice, but this outer color right here is the cream highlight which is starstruck and then this um this middle one here is the lightning dust which is more of a subtle you know uh, really natural healthy looking glow and then this outer one is that fire crystal which is really beautifully pearlescent pink and it's just absolutely gorgeous oh my god i'm absolutely obsessed with these highlights um definitely definitely worth it um i can't remember exactly how much these were i want to say like 34 dollars um but you get two um highlights in these and it's just they're they're stunning they're absolutely beautiful and there's other colors um other duos of the highlight and then there's also the whole pan of that really really intense yellow gold one which is just way too much for me but um if you love it you go glen coco you do you um but yeah so all in all, I think that I am pretty pleasantly surprised with the whole Fenty Beauty line. Um, I was, you know, really surprised. I wasn't 100% sure how I was going to feel about it, um, but I really am surprised by how much I like the products. Um, there are some other products that I still want to try, um, like the gloss and possibly the powder. I wasn't super excited about the powder, but who knows. Um, and then there are also more of the match sticks. So other highlight shades, um, other contour shades, blush shades, I believe as well. Um, and what was surprising to me is that, um, she only came out with one gloss that's it um and it's kind of like a universal shade um i think my sephora had run out of it which is why i didn't purchase it but um yeah only one it's a little bit strange but it's more of a universal more of a universal shade so everyone can pretty much wear it but I'm definitely excited to get more of these matchsticks I highly recommend going with the trio that comes with three um, because otherwise you pay I believe it's 24 or 25 dollars a piece for each of these and um, a trio is 54 so you definitely get like a whole one for free um, definitely a lot more bang for your buck um, especially if you just want like the contour the concealer and then the highlight it's definitely definitely worth it um, and the packaging is beautiful um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I definitely enjoyed filming it for you. Um, I really enjoyed doing a first impressions of a, you know, new line. That was fun. Um, so I definitely have some more videos coming your way. I don't know why I keep saying definitely. I have some more footage coming your way. Um, some things I'm excited to film. What's going on with my hair here? Some things I'm excited to film soon um so you'll be seeing a lot more of me um if you liked this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up um and if you haven't subscribed already please do and i will see you guys in my next video bye